This is what a sunburned avocado tree looks like. It's July 8th, 2018. Um, we're here in Southern California and we just went through the worst heat wave um, on record for most places, including where I live in inland San Diego County. And a lot of avocado trees got burned. So let's have a look at some. You can see the top new growth, the fresh growth, got burned the worst. This is the southwest side of the tree that's most exposed to the sun. So this is where most of the sunburn happened. Here's an older leaf that got scorched. And then interestingly, uh, this is a fuerte tree. And the, the new growth right here got really uh, got really singed back and that's what typically happens is the new growth gets burned first but um here's some new growth right here and it's from a, a little graft of a Pinkerton the Pinkerton variety that I made into the tree and the new growth on the Pinkerton is uh, is pretty good looking there's only a tiny bit of singeing right here um, makes me think that maybe Pinkerton is a little more tolerant to heat than Fuerte. But uh, we'll have a look at my Pinkerton tree in a minute and that might change your mind. So hold on. Look at this sad little Pinkerton. It probably took it the, the heat the hardest out of all my trees. Looks pretty terrible. Look at all those burned leaves and the new growth is just hanging down, wilted, and there's burnt branches. The problem is the, the Pinkerton is a pretty droopy and small kind of weeping variety. And it's, it seems, in my experience, just really prone to sunburn in general. Um, I say that from this tree and from other Pinkertons that I, that I know and uh, and have grown so you know like this I, I this branch has been drooped for a long time and I painted it and uh, you know it's just still exposed to the Sun there's still nothing covering it from a year or two ago and uh, so it's it's just not it didn't it didn't do very well in, in the record heat here's a Hass tree let's see what it looks like Here's some uh, scorched leaves there. And this is the west side of the tree. It's not, it's not too bad and it's still got, um, it's still got some, some fruitlets that look totally fine. So that's nice. Um, but the, the leaves definitely, I guess, took the, the heat and it's got some crispy leaves here and there. But it's mostly single branches. It's not, it's, not, it's not really the whole tree. So it actually, it's a pretty healthy tree and it stood up fairly well to the heat, I guess. This is a young Nimlio and uh, it, it did not stand up well at all. This is probably the weakest of all the varieties in my yard. It just so much of its new growth just got torn up. All the top growth is singed and uh, I don't know, it just seemed weak. It was just so, it was wilting really badly the whole time during the whole heat wave. But then again, it's only been in the ground for like six months. So I have a hard time judging its overall heat tolerance just based on that. This tree here is a lamb or lamb has. A lot of its new growth uh, got burned down here and um, just up at the very top. But a lot of the rest of the tree is is doing okay, and I'm I'm pretty pleased with that, especially because it's holding quite a bit of fruit. There's a lot of young fruit on the inside here, and. Um, I haven't seen it drop any of that, so so that's nice. I would say it's uh, one of the one of the tougher of the varieties that I have in my yard, but I'd say the toughest is uh, 
the the reed. This is a reed here, and it's um, you know, in previous heat waves too. It you know it has some burned new growth, uh, like right here. Here's some burned new growth. But overall, most of the foliage is um, really unfazed. It's uh, it takes the heat better than probably any of of the varieties that I grow, and uh, it's also carrying quite a few um, young, you know, the the new crop, and then it's also still got some mature fruit that that it's holding in there. And, um, and it didn't drop anything. It didn't drop any fruit during the 113 degrees and everything. So I'm really pleased with the reed in the heat. And uh, I'd say if you need a tasty avocado in the heat, reed is the one to go with. <laughs>